Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>
Have you guys ever seen this many stars beside the moon? Well, this is the moon yesterday, and I'm excited to show you that with the infrared, well, we can't see nothing. <laughs> no, that's not what I want to show you. I want to show you that, look at the stars that right here. Aldebaran is right on top left. Not, I don't have to get anything up. It's the biggest star on the top left there. And between that, all those stars, you cannot see with the naked eye. There's about two stars last night you should have seen on the left. And on the right of the moon last night was Pleiades, um, the star cluster, one of the closest ones to Earth that could be seen. And when I was looking at Alba the Baron, which, oh, by the way, I'm going to show you scale and size later. All right, just check this out. This is really sweet. I was trying to get the moon in, and we'll talk about the light coming from the moon afterwards, flaring up, and I say flaring up, the light that we see around the moon. But this object, um, unfortunately, since the screen is um, cut out, and this is how I was filming the corner to get the stars, I don't know if this came from the surface or went across. Probably went across, but this is real speed, guys. What do you think of the speed? There's a problem. This is way too slow, and I, I'm serious. This is way too slow to be an asteroid. Look at the light. Here it is coming across the moon or out of the center of the moon. Wouldn't that be freaky? Unfortunately, we didn't see that, but um, yeah, pretty amazing. With a red filter, a simple straight-up red filter, look at the light over top um, with a visible camera of sorry with a camera of the visible spectrum you could see some blue where you see that light there on the top of the moon and it is intense it's a very electrical blue color here i'm zoomed out for you to see it so the stars that you're seeing on the left and behind the moon are the cons are the stars from the constellation of taurus guys and aldebaran's just off to the top left there and um yeah wait till you see um aldebaran here's aldebaran in the constellation of taurus but um i'm going to show you the exact scale and size i made my own di diagram and wait till you see um the size of aldebaran so aldebaran they say it's i think it's 63.5 light years but not away from earth away from our sun guys so here's aldebaran on the left wow okay <laughs> Isn't that incredible? And the, our sun from the solar system on the right. To give you an idea of scale and size, which is just absolutely incredible. You'll f have to forgive me for my voice being a little hoarse. I, I'm probably just because I'm talking so much. I've been trying to do this part so many times. 67P doesn't mean that that's what I caught back in uh, 2017. But, 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 but. Just look at the shape and form. It really does remind me of 67P. Um, Want to know more about 67P? Check out Jimmy Roberts' one channel. He talks about it. And yeah, this object, which um, is really special, was underneath the moon. And this is only one of many objects. Look at this. Chemtrails spraying. And it just so happens there's an asteroid there. Maybe they're not spraying for the asteroids, but let me tell you something. It was there, the asteroid, that, and the star in the bottom right, look at the size, and look at this ginormous object, again in 2017. Now, here's the thing. I wasn't understanding why I was able to get these objects so bloody big, and I wasn't. It's because they are big, and they were in the lower Earth, and that's what they were doing there. There was two or three of them. NASA declared it. I posted the videos um, coinciding exactly with... Um, when uh, NASA had said that these objects were found and when this was occurring. So yeah, 67P, maybe it wasn't that, but it really did look like it. Look at this object, like a plume of sulfur, and I'm just saying sulfur, I have no idea what it is, but it's coming off of this asteroid, I guess you could have called it. This was my prized possession, I guess, one of the ones that really scared uh, many people, um, even the Nibiru community, which I got a lot of support from. Thanks, everyone. Uh, this object was absolutely amazing, and it actually looked like two pieces. No, maybe it wasn't a planet broken in pieces, but it makes you really wonder. There's a star in the background, to give you an idea, again, of the size. I didn't put it there. It was there. This is an asteroid's edge. So those three objects I was able to catch really close. I was able to get some really close shots. What's on it? 
There's a mound or something at the end. You know that uh, m pure minerals come out of these asteroids. They're so boiling hot. And as the mineral spews out purely to the top of the surface, creates these mounds. Also how the, crea uh, the craters sorry, on the lunar surface probably could have been uh, found. It's all raw footage, guys. A very special thank you to Inger Lee Strom. Inger Lee Strom, thank you so much for the generous contributions to this channel and for being a part of this community. Thank you.